Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am super excited because I get to interview Jenna Lee from Yoso Wellness Spa. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. Yeah. So you were the Entrepreneur of the Year at the Nexties? Yes. Yeah, super cool. Very exciting. So I want to know, well, first, first of all, before we start, um, what is Yoso Wellness Spa? What do you do? So Yoso Wellness Spa, first, what it means is raw elements in Japanese. Oh. And um, I learned something new today. There you go. Yeah. Um, and so what we do is we're a holistic green wellness spa. And we okay. have two green business certifications. And we do facials and massage and acupuncture and organic eco-friendly wellness, nails and lash extensions um, and oncology aesthetics as well. And so very green, holistic focused and using a lot of natural organic products. Um, and that's part of why we have the raw elements as our name with it being Yoso okay and then um, we use a lot of just that raw elements within our treatments as well and the approaches we take so how did you come up with the idea I want to make this spa was it like as a young child you were like massaging your mom's back I mean like, yeah like what, what was the idea yeah how did you yeah. come up um, you know I have always kind of been this entrepreneur of sort at heart at heart and yeah. um, I even as young, I was in Girl Scouts for 13 years, okay. and I was that the seems top. seems so fitting. <laughs> yeah, I totally picture you doing that. Yeah. Um, and I was a top cookie seller for like four years no. in a row, selling over a thousand cookies. So I had this in me to like have a business of some yeah. sort. And I also well, had. Percent, oh. How did you sell? Like, you know, how were you the top seller of the Girl Scout cookies? I want to know. Like, what did you do? Oh, it was all about service and interaction and okay. making that connection. And so I would go up to. Every single door, I did not use my parents to sell so you're my knocking stuff. On the I doors. was knocking on every okay. door. I was like walking through every like cookie that we had, talking about the cookies, <laughs> yeah. and then um, I would smile. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you had customer uh, you know, service I had customer already. Service, yeah. Yep. And after I would um, package everything, I would hand deliver it all. I would write thank you letters to every single person. <laughs> and so because of that, it just well, you kept, already like, had that like all that in you already. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I was like eight nine yeah yeah so okay little, so let's yeah, continue yeah. i'm sorry yeah. so so i had this like in me built in me in my heart already and um and i also had this interest in skin and i didn't know what that was okay. until i was in my early 20s and i had a facial for the first time and i realized oh i could do something other than being a dermatologist i could be an esthetician okay. and i started doing skincare as an esthetician and then I realized I really wanted to be able to help people with their skin on a whole different level yeah. um, and, and do it with more of an educational side component to it. And that showed me that I needed to start my own business so that I could really give my clients true care from skin to soul. And then it slowly evolved with my business from there. And my and I have three little girls and they were kind of the catalyst behind like launching each step of the growth of my business. Nice. Yeah. So when did you start, when did you actually open your business, the first one? Um, 2012. Okay. Yeah. And actually we're about to have, it was June, 2012. So we're about to have our six year anniversary. That's crazy. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, um, what, when you wake up in the morning, uh -huh. what besides like seeing your three daughters faces, you know, what like gets you excited about, you know, like your day? Ooh, uh, let's see. What gets me excited about my day? Well, I mean, it sounds kind of silly, but mm -hmm. honestly, like the excitement of, it is i am very passionate about my business mm -hmm. so i know that sounds really silly but it actually is yeah. that's a lot of it is yeah. the things that i get to work on to evolve to make my business even more for the community and those mm -hmm. kind of pieces that actually really excites me a lot yeah. um i love working on on my business and then yeah my kids too it's exciting to yeah. Um, have their little cuddles in the morning they all come in like this morning at 5 45 and they just want to like curl up with me yeah. and that kind of um, catapults my day yeah. into a really good start nice. yeah yeah so you mentioned community um, why is that I feel like you've embraced the idea that the community is very important um, for your business mm -hmm. um, why should other businesses think the same well it's the community that helps make your business thrive mm -hmm. and grow and having that having their support and love behind what you do mm -hmm. and you showing that you love them back but with genuinity behind yeah. that and not a false um, yeah. sense of it I think it's really important because it, it just shows that we're all in this together in whatever form that it is and we all have each other's back and isn't that what we're all here for anyway and in the bigger picture I mean really you want to you want to support everyone and their growth in whatever form it is and let their light shine really bright and yeah. um, and so I really believe in in connecting with people in that way and not 
And for me, it's even like not passing judgment. Like there's so many pieces behind what community is and how you grow and develop that. Yeah. Um, and it's just important to me to, to give back and to participate and have them love us and we love them. And yeah, I'm really grateful for that piece. Yeah. You do such an, a phenomenal job in that. And I think you mentioned it's genuine. Mm -hmm. Like it's, you can tell when a brand is trying to be like, oh, we're part of the community but there's a disconnect. Yeah. Um, there's no disconnect with you. So you oh, did such a nice you. job. Um, so what is next for Yoso Wellness Spa? Well, we're very excited because um, we are in the process of about to be moving. Mm -hmm. So for, for Yoso, what's next is we're going into a much larger location. We're um, in a very small space right now. Okay. And within the next month, we're gonna be downtown Santa Cruz cool. in the Galleria, which is really exciting and we're, um, going to be expanding some of our services there and really trying to um, launch a whole nother level within actually our community and really getting that um, just that connection across and, and so that's kind of the next big thing right now happening for us is that we're moving into a larger location in the Galleria it's going to be 1500 square feet nice. and um, yeah it's, it's going to be awesome and really exciting that's cool yeah. exactly. so so um, if somebody wants to know more about Yoso Wellness Spa, should they go to the website? Should they just drop in? What's what's the best way that they should get involved? You can go to yosowellnessspa.com. Um, you can also go to our Instagram page, Yoso Wellness. We have a Facebook page, Yoso Wellness Spa. Um, you can email us hello at yosowellness.com. <laughs> There's so many different ways, but you can also pop in. Um, we're yeah, we have a beautiful little space and it, soon a beautiful big space, <laughs> and um, yeah, you can pop in anytime, and we will be. Um, 740 Front Street is our address, our new address. By the time everyone sees us, that's where we'll yes. be. <laughs> and um, and yeah, so that yeah, there's all kinds of ways you can get to us. But if you search Yoso Wellness Spa, you will find us anyway. Great. Well, yeah. thank you so much for the yeah. interview. Thanks, Matthew. Bye. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you wanna see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.